Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and I received one question from uh, my Udemy student in Retail Shop Lighting Design. Um, Harry said, Hi Nelka, after creating light scenes, should calculation be performed individually? Because I'm not able to select more than one light scene. So uh, Harry is trying to create a light scenes and he doesn't know what to do okay so let's go and help harry so i open now one of my beautiful project and i will just use one room of this villa just to create the light scenes and show it to harry how we will do it so i'll go to the story one and the living room and because i can just select one room for for all these rooms in this villa so i will choose living room because i have different layers of light here so i have scope light down lights uh floor mounted luminaire and some spotlights okay so my spotlights are not properly aimed yet and not properly selected the proper optics yet but anyways we will just go uh to light scene first so go to your uh, light tab and then go to your light scene tab here and then you will have your uh, default scene which is for for everything so what i'm going to do is i will create a new light scene so create new one i say yes the result will be in, in invalid and then now i have a light scene for living room you can see it's here light scene for living room and then you can see that it's uh, selected properly or the luminaires are here and then I will just create because I want to uh, separate all those luminaires in different groups so I can dim the group or turn off the group if I want to so here I will select a new group uh, sorry this one create new luminaire group and then I will label this group as down lights down lights and then I will create a new one and I will label it Cove Light. Yes, and then another one and I will label it Floor Light or Floor, floor Standing Light. And then another one for Spotlights or Track Lights. So I have different groups now. So I go to the plan view so I can select it properly because right now I have all the groups here. So what I'm going to do, I will select the down lights first. Now it's all selected. I will remove it from this group and I will add it from here to here. And then I will sele select the track lights. I will remove it here and I will add it here. Just click those plus sign and minus sign. Again, this is a track lights. So I will remove it here and then I will add it here. If you select the track lights, you can see that these are all selected. And if you click the down lights, see it's selected. Now I will select now the cove lights. I remove it here and add it here. Similar to this one. I will remove and add. Now this is difficult because it's... Anyways, I can just select it like this. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's only one line. So remove and add. And then, yes, perfect. Remove and add. And then for the floors, floor lamps, which I cannot select. I can just select it to, to elevation view. So I will select this one. Remove it here and add it here. So if, if I go to the plan view again, I can there, you can see that this one is no longer here. I mean, there's no luminary here, so we can just delete it. Yes. And then if you click, one, two, three, floor lights, and track lights. So for example, my first scene is um, to create a scene like, you can create a scene like from here, uh, duplicate a scene or you can just save your scenes in your um, images okay let me just show it to you if you want to create a scene you can just copy this one say duplicate light scenes so you have scene one two and three or if you want to make it three yes you can add one more if you like 
So you have three scenes for this um for this living room. And then what I'm going to show you is you either create a scene like this or save your scenes based on your images. For example, in scene number two, I will just turn off all the down lights, make it zero, and turn on the cove light and also the floor lights and turn off the truck lights. And then we can just go and run it. The good thing about the Dallas Evo 8 is you can just select the calculation for specific room and you can just do it. So make sure you click this set calculation and say fast. And in the fast, you can just calculate for an active light scene or only selected room. So whatever is the active scene, but which I selected right now, which is scene number two, will be calculated and no daylight is included. If you want to add daylight, of course you can add. But for this one, let's not add daylight. And then let's calculate. Okay, because this is a whole villa and I have lots of objects both inside out. So I think it will take time. So, but let's, let's just wait. Okay, so it is done now. Very good. So let's go and check it here. So in this living room, I have 45.6 lux. And I will just check how it looks in the 3D and see. Okay, so this is your scene number one. So this is what I did. I turned off all those uh, down lights. It should be turned off, but it looks like it's turned on, but it's turned off. And only the uh, floor mounted luminaires and cove lights are open. So let's go in the story tab. Very good. Look at that. Only the room number, uh, living room is on. I mean, calculated. And if you go to the site, you can see it's, yeah, it's only the living room is calculated. It's not much, but yeah, it's not calculated. All right. So, um, so this is light scene number one. And if you want, for example, to create your first view on this one, for example, this is my first scene and I will just save it, save new view and create. This is make sure it's properly labeled scene one. For example, this is your scene one and look how it is. Yeah. Okay. And then okay, if you want to go to the top view also, so you can see the aerial view of this scene, you can also save that one. Okay, I will save it as a new view again, and then say still scene number one. Alright, and if you want to save also the, the false color, it's also much better. So you can show it to your client how it looks in the false color. So save new view again and say scene one. And then you go back to your uh, uh, light tab and create a new scene. And for example, this time, I will not touch any scene here because I will just use the same uh, scene since number two. And I will just edit this one. I will make this one as fully turned on. Cove light is off. And track lights are on and floor lights are off. And then just go and refresh press this one just refresh it and it will calculate on its own again and so fast because it's already calculated see it's done already so let's go back to our export again and save this scene so let's go to the first scene that we created yo all right and then i will say save new view and i will say this is scene number two okay i don't know the spelling of scene <laughs> Control C. I will just copy it. And then I'll go and press the other one. Tap view. And then press the save new view. Control V. And then I go to the, the false color or slow color. And I'll press again the save new view. And label it scene 2 again. Okay. So this is how it looks when you create your scene number 2. Which is all the down lights are open. And also the track lights it's more brighter compared to the first scene so again let's go to the third one if you want to create more scenes all right so when you go to your documentation it's it will be very amazing and if you want to save these files and uh, save it as GIF animation it will be much better it, it will be look like a, 
creating a different scenes if you want i can show it to you but on the next video uh, how to create a gif animation you're using your scene images okay just to make um yeah okay so that's it how you do it so if you go to the documentation i will just show it to you how you can arrange your uh, documents properly so go to your selected outputs type and let's say go to the uh, views for example and then I will just select those scenes that we created and where are those scenes for example scene 1 add and then the next one and then the next one and then select all the top views 1 2 and three and if you made a mistake here you can just press the up or down here so when you present it to your client you can either just present this page or the whole pages with the calculations okay so when we scroll it it looks like scene number one you can also see the label properly it's very good because we label it properly scene one and you can put a label uh, saying this is all down lights and cove lights or floor mounted lights then then scene two okay scene one scene two and scene three and also in the top view the client will see how it looks yeah and also in this false color they can see it so you can just print this page this only page or you will print everything so it's really good that uh, okay let's just print this page and i will label it scene file name is scene one two three I'll put it in my desktop and save. I will open it now. Yes. And this is your uh, PDF file looks like. All right. So you have scene one, two, three. And in the top view, you can also see that one. Wow. See? It really looks cool. This is, looks bigger because the, the area looks brighter. See the effect of being a bright room? It looks big. All right, so that's it for now. And if you want to learn more, I will have another video regarding the GIF animation later. And just um, send your comments or email to uh, nelka underscore rojo at yahoo.com or to nelka dot rojo at nrojolightingdesign.com or visit my Facebook and YouTube and uh, udemy if you want to enroll courses in udemy.com all right so thank you very much and see you again on the next video bye